Okay, so we're going to be revisiting the uh, iMac, the one that I had the little incident with it on a few streams back. Uh, this is actually going to be part two. We did a first part on this. Uh, we went through two power supplies to get it to boot again. Everything works except for the monitor and the uh, USB port, the first one here. It's dead. So what I've gotten is a, another main board. Uh, this one has actually an i7 processor on it, where this one has an i5. So it'd be a little bit of a speed boost on it. But anyway, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to take and uh, pop the screen back off, take the board back out, and then put this one in. And I'm debating on thermal pasting this or not because uh, this is a used board. So we'll be back in a moment. Okay, so we got the screen off of it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, logic board off of it here. It's actually not that difficult to take, take off. It comes off actually pretty easy. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the fan out though. I have to take the fan off and then we'll unbolt this thing. We'll do it from the power supply and then we'll uh, get that board out of there. And then we can compare the two to see if there's any difference. Okay, so we got the uh, board out of the iMac there. And of course, a couple things we need to do is I need to take the uh, MSATA drive out. Uh, that's a half a terabyte. I'll put it on this replacement board. We also have to take the uh, 32 gig of memory out of it there and put in there. And but other than that, visually, it looks the same. Everything's all located. It's the... Uh, Wi-Fi card up there. It's got all the same ports on it. And I'll stick this one down here. And hold this up here and you can see it looks the same. Got all the same stuff on it here. I'll uh, try to hold both of these side by side here. So this is going to be the replacement board. This is the one that's out of the ma machine. And yeah. So I'm uh, going to have to replace that battery too. I don't have to do that twice. So yeah, so we'll uh, make our swap here. So I think what I'm going to do though is I'm going to th re-thermal paste this because I don't have to go through this again. And I will do that. And I'm not going to do that on camera. I will do that off camera, but when I get the heat sink off of it, I will show you what it looks like. Okay, so I got the heat sink off here. You can see this is the uh, processor for the uh, the GPU. And then uh, this is the uh, heat sink for the CPU. And then all these here. So what we're going to do is we're going to repaste all this here because it is very dried out. Uh, it's like concrete. So we're going to repaste all this. And then we'll put it back together. And then we'll put the RAM in it and the SATA card on it. And we're going to put it in the machine, and hopefully it works. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean all this up. Again, I'm not going to do this on camera because you guys have seen this done a thousand times. So I'll show you what it looks like after I get it clean, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I got uh, everything all cleaned up here. I've got uh, the GPU all cleaned up there. The eye looks really good. Got those all cleaned off there. Got the, all the old thermal taste off of there. Got the um, heat sinks all cleaned off here. And I got the CPU all cleaned off here. However, as I discovered, this is not an i7 processor, even though the eBay listing said it was. Let me uh, zoom in here so you can see it here. It is an i5 at 3.4 gigahertz. Very disappointing. I will have to reach out to the eBay seller. But anyway, uh, I'm not going to... I'm still going to stick this in the computer because I don't have to do this again. But anyway, so we're going to... Put this all back together here, the board, re-thermal paste it, put it back together, and then we'll get it back in the machine here. Okay, so we got everything transplanted over on this board. 
Uh, it's all back together. And let me tell you, it was absolutely no fun to repaste the uh, CPU and the GPU. And, and by the way, I made a mistake. Uh, this is the uh, graphics chip here. And then, of course, the uh, CPU is underneath here, underneath this heat pipe here. So anyway, um, we'll cross our fingers. I've got the MSATA drive back in it. I got the RAM in it. So now we're going to put it back in there. We're going to connect it up and hopefully it works. Be back in a moment. Okay, so we got everything put back together on it. It's all hooked up. The replacement board is in there. Um, power supply is in there. So this is going to be the first power up. Now I don't have the monitor on it. I want to make sure that we have logic lights on the board because um, if that don't work, I'll be wind up sticking the other board back in there. Um, or I'll have to order another one. But anyway, I'm going to contact an eBay seller about the uh, not being an i7 uh, i5. So anyway, so we will uh, take and uh, we're going to boot this up. So we're going to power it up here and we're going to cross our fingers and hopefully uh, everything works. We shall find out. So we are plugged in. We should get a boot chime. Okay, so we have two logic lights, so that's good. Let's just see if we boot up. Uh oh, that's not good. Not good. All right, let's try it again. Fans ramping up. That's not a good sign. Oh boy. Turn that off. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll see what's going to go on here. I'll be back in a moment. Well, we have some progress. Um, I put the screen on it, and as you can see, the the screen's working now. Uh, didn't do that before, and we're getting a flashing folder. And that's very interesting because I have an M SATA drive in it, and I have SSD in it. Hmm, very interesting. So it's not seeing a system. Our PC uh, challenge. I have a Windows install disk, and look, I plugged it into the USB port, and it found that. Interesting. So uh, I'm going to take and uh, get a regular Apple wired keyboard and see if we can see. Look, look, it's trying to it's trying to boot into Windows here. That is crazy. But hey, I'm glad that the screen works on it. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, uh, this is uh, very very weird. Um, I don't know why it's not seeing the other two drives. Hmm, and it's very strange that uh, the Windows would boot up on it, because um, this is a Mac. That is very, very interesting. Hmm, well, let me um, go get another keyboard, and I'm going to, <laughs> uh, I'm going to uh, see if I can boot into the, uh, the system uh, option here, so be right back. Okay, so an update. So I plugged in a regular Apple keyboard, wired keyboard, and I went into internet recovery, uh, put in the Wi-Fi password, it's doing it. 
uh, then it'll take me to the next screen where I'll say, okay, what do you want to do? A new OS install or a time machine backup? And it's not seeing any of the drives. So there's something goofy. There's, I forgot to plug something in or um, there's something wrong with the machine. But it seems to be working fine. Now I notice I don't have any sound. So I'm not sure what that's all about. So anyway, I'm uh, going to do an update here, and I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, so uh, I had to go into Disk Utility uh, after Internet Recovery, and then I had to wipe the uh, SSD drive, and then it allowed me to go in and install OS Mavericks. So I'm going to get a base system on it, and then after I do that, then I'm going to get it upgraded to basically what it was before. So this is going to take quite a while, or a few seconds rather. Be back in a minute. Be back. All right, so we got this Mac back up and running. And we have a Sonoma on it. And you're saying, gosh, how you get Sonoma on an unsupported Mac? Well, you go to uh, Mr. Macintosh's website, and you can do it. This has metal graphics on it, so not a problem. But if you look about this Mac, you'll see that it is the gives the specs. Now, however, this still has an i5 in it. And I'll zoom in here, and you can see it still has an i5. And the seller I contacted him because, like I said, I didn't discover this until I pulled that processor out of the replacement board to repaste it. So I contacted the seller and he said, oh, I am sorry, I will send you an i7 processor, my mistake. So we have it right there in the bag. So we're going to put that in here. And you notice we got all the duct tape on it there. That's holding the screen on. So what I'm going to do is turn this off again. Take the screen out, take it apart, pull the motherboard out of it, and I'm going to replace the i7 processor. Of course, I have to repaste it again, and we'll get it back in there again. So then this will be an i7, hopefully. He says it does work. It's been tested, so we'll see. But it works beautifully. I've put uh, some of the software that I have on this, and like I said, this is what I'm going to be streaming off of all the time here. And that'll stay out here in the garage. So anyway, I'll be back in a bit. Well, again, another surprise. All right, so here's the i5 processor. I'm trying to focus on it here for you, right there. Now notice the little notches toward the top of it there on each side. Now when you look at the i7 processor, Look at that, the notches are way lower on each side. So what happens is when you put it in the socket, it doesn't fit. So, what a big disappointment again. I got this thing all tore apart again. And I'm just trying to focus on it here so you can see it there. It does say it's an i7 there. Uh, trying to here. But anyway, so it's another letdown here. This is really disappointing. There we go, right there. Now you can see it. I7. So anyway, I'm going to put this thing back together with the i5 processor back into it. And I think I'm going to forget about upgrading it because I'm tired of taking this thing apart. So we'll get this thing back together. And you can see over here all the stuff here. So I got to clean all this up again, repaste it, put it back together. So I'll be back in a few. Well, this was disappointing. I was hoping to have the i7 processor in there, so I wound up putting it back together. And we're on the i5 again. But I think I'm just going to wait a while and make sure I get the right processor for sure before I want to button this thing all the way up. I have it temporarily held together with the uh, duct tape so the screen doesn't fall out. Other than that, uh, all we'd have to do is get the adhesive kit to mount the screen permanently back in there, but 
I'm going to contact that seller again and tell him that I took pictures of it. And uh, But yeah. So anyway, it works great. Uh, it's got Sonoma on it, the latest release. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be uh, using this to stream off of again. So anyway, hey, I hope you like this video. It's been kind of a crazy one. I was hoping to have this thing running a little faster, but uh, well, it is what it is. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It means a lot. So anyway, have a great uh, rest of your week. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.